In this video, we will show you MetroBot 2022 autopilot competition code that I and my friend Arendt wrote. The mission is composed of smaller separate computer vision missions which are detecting an error in its orientation, detecting a line and keeping following it, and reading letters. By reading letters, drone will change its operating mode from following lines to going on desired distance at arrows, direction, and vice versa. Also, a letter will indicate that mission is over. Letter L is the line following mode. X is error following mode and T for landing mode. Let's start by explaining algorithms of each individual submission and after that we can explain general workflow of the code. For error detection, to compute the head of the error, we need to get its tip point position and its center to compute the angle between vertical axis and the line formed by these two points. Now finding the tip point is a bit tricky. First we need to be sure that what we are looking for is the error. We will know that by filtering. First, we can count the vertices, since an error will have 6 or 7, this gives us a good filtering. Then we can use a contour size as a filter with giving upper and lower limits. At last, we could check its shape by computing vertices, which is the tricky part. If you take a closer look and count the point counterclockwise and give each one of them a number, you will see that there are always two vertices that are making a shape concave. And the tip point is two points behind or ahead. Well, this is the what we are using. We will count from concave points backwards and frontwards and see if they meet. If they do, we have an arrow and intersection in this is our tip point. We will take its position as tip point for further calculations. Finding center point is not tricky and actually it's pretty easy if you have a symmetrical object on needed axis which arrows do have a symmetry around the vertical axis. So we will create smallest rectangle that fits arrow in it, then find the center point of the rectangle which will give us a center point of the arrow. This is concluded by OpenCV library. Now that we have the tip and center point of the arrow, we can easily calculate the al angle along the y-axis. For line detection, in line detection mode, we will use size, shape and vertex number filter. Since there are only curves, which this is given in competition rules, new lines transform is not needed. There is a much more simpler and lightweight method that is working. Since there are only curves, if you turn your heading along the road, there won't be curves with more bending angle than 180 degrees. So curves will be always ahead of your drum. By knowing this, this submission becomes very easy. Select the vertical distance to follow the line. Then just approach the line from both sides until you detect a contour. You may say uh, approaching to 1 and detecting a 1 in a binary image. Then take every average of the two positions and you have a reference position. By calculating angle between y axis and line that is formed by these two dots, this submission is also finished. For letter detection, Letter detection could have been very hard too, but by filtering we use, it couldn't have been easier. In competition rules, it is seen that every letter is inside a circle, which means we can use a contour hierarchy to filter out every contour that has a child contour, which means they are not inside a contour. Then, only contours remaining are letters. A very easy computation for finding out letters is by counting their vertices, since every letter contains different amount of vertices in this competition. This may seem pretty basic, but works like a charm. The mission algorithm works like this. We take off, go to letter detection mode and detect the letter, enter desired submission mode, which may be arrow detecting or line following. While doing this submission, also search for another letter. Until the letter found, continue doing the submission, continue the cycle until T is reached, then land. We will see how submissions work individually. Unfortunately, now we don't have a ready to go simulation environment but as soon as we will do, we will add simulation results to it. As seen, error detection algorithm works. Angles that are seen in screen are regulated according to PX4 autopilot software heading coordinate system. Also as seen, line detection algorithm works. Angles are also in PX4 heading system. As seen, letter detection algorithm also works. Hopefully this interview was helpful for you. You can ask any questions at elbergsrm.work at gmail.com.